In this video, we are going to solve linear systems in three or four variables using matrices and Kramer's rule. Okay, we have x plus y minus z is equal 6 to x minus y plus 5z equal negative 11. And uh, lastly, we have x plus 4y minus z is equal 15. Okay, so how we are going to solve? First of all, we need to um, find a determinant, which means I'm going to write down determinant as an uh, delta, because we are using, to find determinant, we are going to use uh, the triangle form. So, what is going to be, I'm going to write out the coefficients of this x, y, and z, the z. So, uh, coefficient of x is 1. For the second equation, coefficient of x is 2. For the third equation, coefficient of x is 1. For the y, we have 1, negative 1. And for the third equation, coefficient of y is positive 4. Next, uh, we have negative 1, positive 5, and negative 1. So I picked out coefficient of x in column, first column, all coefficients of y in second column, all coefficients of z in third column. Now we need to find determinant. So how we are going to do it? First, I'm going to go by this diagonal. This is going to be one times negative one times negative one. It's going to be positive one. Okay. Next, I'm going to go by a triangle that will run parallel to that diagonal, which is going to come like this. Okay, which means one vertex is five, the other uh, one, a second vertex is five, third vertex is one. So it's going to be plus one times five is five times one is five. And next one is going to be, next triangle is going to be, again, parallel to diagonal, but it will go opposite direction this way. So it's going to be 2, 2 times 4, I'm going by vert vertices, 2 times 4 times 1, which is going to be plus 8, right? Oh, negative 1, okay? So it's going to be uh, minus 8. All right, so next... Let me write down real quick. One, two, one, one, negative one, four, and negative one, five, and negative one. Okay, now we are doing minus. We are going to, mi to do minus calculation the, of uh, diagonal this way. So it's going to be negative 1 times negative 1, negative 1, it's going to be plus, uh, but because we are doing minus, okay, let me put, uh, go slow here, minus, so in parentheses, so uh, calculations by this diagonal, and then minus calculation by uh, green diagonal, okay? Okay. 
And let's see what we are going to get. So it's going to be positive 1, right? 1 times negative 1, negative 1 is positive 1. Okay, next I am taking um, parallel base uh, triangle, which is going to go like this. So I'm taking vertices, 1 times 5 times 4. Yes, it's going to be plus 20. And lastly, I am taking from here pa parallel to um, this diagonal and making opposite direction triangle, which is going to be 2 times 1 times negative 1. The, take the numbers on vertices, these two, this one, and this negative 1, okay? 2 times 1 is 2, and negative 1, it's going to be negative 2. So from here, this is going to be equal 1 plus 5 minus 8, um, minus 1, minus 20, plus 2. Okay, so it's going to be equal how much? Uh, this one and this negative one is gone. And then we have negative 8, negative 20. It's going to be negative 28. Negative 28 plus 5, it's going to be negative 23. And then plus 2, it's going to be negative 21. Okay, so this is our delta. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find delta by x, delta by y, delta by z. How I'm going to do that? So, I'm going to take the first coefficient. Let me uh, at the clean this up. I'm going to write it clean so you will have it so we can follow. 1, 2, 1. Uh, 1, negative 1 and 4 and negative 1, 5, and negative 1. So since I'm going to do delta by x, uh, I'm going to replace the column of x. It's x, y, and z. Yes, column of x I'm going to replace with these three uh, terms, which is uh, this uh, 6, negative 11, and 15. Uh, those are three terms. They don't have x or y or any other variable. So we are going to have 6, negative 11, positive 15, and the rest x and y coefficient, I am just writing down 1, negative 1, positive 4, negative 1, positive 5, negative 1. OK, let's find out the determinant. It, well, I'm going to go the same way. So first I'm going to, let me uh, write down here, so uh, as a draft and so I can clean it. So not to rewrite 100 times. 5, negative 1. Okay, first I'm going to go by this diagonal, which is uh, going to be 6 times negative 1, negative 1. It's going to be positive 6, right? Plus, next I'm going uh, to go, let's say, this triangle providing line parallel. And it's uh, here is vertex at negative 1. So it's going to be negative 11 times 4 is uh, negative 44 times uh, uh, negative 1. It's going to be positive 44. And lastly, I'm going to provide this line parallel to main diagonal and build the uh, form, the triangle with vertices 1, 5, and 15. So uh, 5 times 15 is 75. Okay, 75. Next minus. So let me clean this. And we have here, uh, this is 15, this is 1, uh, oh, this is uh, 1, negative 1, positive 4, and negative 1, 5, 
and negative 1, and this is 15. Eleven, negative one, here is four. Okay, now let's go for this one. So we have, uh, now I'm taking diagonal opposite direction. This main diagonal, it's gonna be, I need to subtract minus, right? 11 times uh, positive one, because 11, I mean 15 times negative one, negative one, it's gonna be positive one. And because we subtract, it's gonna be negative 15. Second, I'm going uh, the providing parallel line and triangle comes here. So it's going to be 6 times 5 is 30 and 30 times uh, 4 is 120. Positive, that means it's going to be negative 120 because I don't put in parentheses again and then open. So just go straight that way. And then uh, provide parallel th for this one from this way and vertex is gonna be at negative one. So negative 11 times one is negative 11 times negative 11, positive 11. And with minus, because we are subtracting, will be negative 11. Okay, let's uh, do the math. What do we have? Um, six and, oops. Six and 44 is a 50, um, 50 minus uh, uh, the, fi uh, the 15, it's gonna be 35, 35 plus uh, 75, it's gonna be 110, 110 and negative 120, it's gonna be negative 10, negative 10 and 11, it's gonna be negative 21. I hope I did right uh, calculation, didn't do some silly mistakes. Okay, we will see. Next, delta y. So this time, this available term, six, negative 11 and 15, this one, it's gonna uh, substitute the column of uh, coefficient for y. So let me change the uh, color here. Okay, so we have um, one, two, one. I'm looking at this main uh, the determinant. One, two, one. And then uh, uh, now one, negative one, the, co the coefficient of y, I'm going to replace with this available term, which is six, negative 11, and 15. I don't think this is uh, seen well. Let me see if I can pick up something, some better color that will be seen much better, this one. Okay. Yes. So six, negative 11, 15. And uh, the last uh, a column, it's a column for coefficient of z. It's going to be negative 1. Uh, it's going to be 5. And it's going to be negative 1. Okay, let's calculate delta by y. So we are having, so I am building a first diagonal. So it's going to be 11 times uh, negative 11 times negative 1. It's going to be positive 11. Yes. So, okay, let me leave this one so we can provide parallel. Then this one and uh, this triangle. So 2 times 15 is 30 and minus 1, negative 30. So it's going to be minus 30. Next, I am building triangle provide parallel to main diagonal and it coming this way. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 1 is 30. So positive 30. So we are done, uh, everything related diagonal from uh, uh, left to right. Now let's go diagonal right to left. C 
so it's gonna be negative one, negative 11 is positive 11, because we are doing subtraction, it's gonna be negative 11, right? Okay, next one, providing parallel line and connecting with vertex of triangle. One times five times 75, it's gonna be plus 75, therefore it's gonna be minus because we are subtracting all multiplication related to that direction of uh, diagonal, minus 75, okay? Minus 75. And uh, lastly, parallel to diagonal this way and this triangle, it's going to be 2 times 6 is 12 times negative 1. It's going to be negative 12, which means uh, I'm doing plus 12, right? Okay. And what do we get here? Negative 30 plus 30, 11, negative 11. And our answer will stay negative 75 plus 12, uh, negative 63. Okay. And uh, lastly, let's calculate uh, delta Z, which means uh, from this main delta, this one, right? I'm going to use X and Y coefficient and uh, substitute, replace uh, the coefficient of Z column, the last one, that is negative 1, 5, and 1. Replace with available term, that is 6, negative 11, 15. Let's go. It's going to be 1, 1, 2, 1, then 1, negative 1, 4, and for Z, I am going Z column, I'm going to replace 6, negative 11, and 15. Okay. So, let's do the math. First, we are doing 1 times negative 1 times 15, that is going to be uh, negative 15, right? Second, I'm doing providing parallel, 1 times 11 and 1. So it's going to be a negative 11 times 1 is negative 11. Negative 11. And lastly, providing parallel from this way. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 6 is positive 48. Let me first uh, clean this triangle and then so positive 48. Okay, and now let me clean this. And this one was uh, 15, right? Okay. Now we go, go opposite direction diagonal. It's coming this way. So let's count it. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. And with negative, it's going to be positive 6. Uh, next, I'm providing parallel line and build triangle. So 2 times 1 is 2 times 15 is 30 which means with negative sign, it's going to be negative 30. Negative 30. And lastly, provide parallel from on this side to this diagonal and connecting to this vertex. It's going to be 4 times negative 11, negative 44. And times 1, negative 44. With a negative sign, it's going to be positive 44. Let's calculate, see how much we're going to get. Mm. So, negative 15, negative 11, it's going to be negative 26. 
So negative 26 plus 6, it's going to be negative 20. Negative 20, negative 30, it's going to be negative 50. Negative 50 plus 44, it's going to be um, negative 6. And 42, positive 48 and negative 6 is going to be positive 42. Okay, positive 42. All right, so once we have it, now we're going to calculate, it's time to calculate x, y, and z. So x, x is equal delta x over delta is equal, delta x is negative 21. Delta is also negative 21. We are getting positive 1, our x. Uh, now y, oops, uh, this color y is equal delta y. We divide by delta, which is going to be delta y is negative 63 divided by negative 21. It's going to be positive 3. And lastly, z is equal delta z divided by delta. Delta z is 42 divided by negative 21 is equal negative 2. So uh, the answer is going to be we are putting in parentheses so in, it goes by x, y, z. So 1, 3, and negative 2. Okay, so we have it. Solving uh, linear uh, system of linear equations with a uh, method of Kramer. Okay. Okie dokie.